Welcome to the LiftSuit video manual. This video shows how to use the Oxivo LiftSuit exoskeleton. Please familiarize yourself with the LiftSuit's functionality and usage to make sure you can fully take advantage of its numerous benefits. When activated, the LiftSuit provides back and hip support during forward leaning and lifting movements. As you can already see, using the LiftSuit is easy. With a bit of practice, it can be donned, adjusted, and used in 30 seconds. In this video, we will explain the different steps in more detail to make sure you can quickly experience the support of the lift suit firsthand. Before you put it on, familiarize yourself with the features of the exoskeleton. Identify and stretch the elastic bands on the back. Test the back support activation using the looped straps at the front of the vest. Try deactivating it again by lifting the buckles and pulling the band backward. And lastly, identify the straps and buckles for size adjustment. One in the front of the vest, two at the back of the vest, one at the hip belt, and one at each thigh cuff. Open and loosen all buckles and straps to make it easy to put it on later. Once you are familiar with the features of the lift suit, you can start donning it like a backpack. Close the vest using the buckle in front of your chest, and for now, tighten it only slightly. Next, close the hip belt and tighten it slightly. Continue by closing both thigh cuffs and tightening them so that you can still place one hand between your leg and the cuff. The chest circumference can be adjusted using the buckles at the back of the vest. During first time use, ask a colleague to help you adjust the chest circumference of the exoskeleton. When a task involves forward leaning or lifting movements, you can activate the lift suit back support. To activate the back support, pull the loops located at your collarbone. Deactivate the back support by lifting the buckles at the collarbone and raising your knees one after another. The activation loops are used to pre-tension the elastic bands on your back. During first time use, the back length of the lift suit needs to be adjusted to your body height. The straps should be long enough to allow you to sit down comfortably when the support is deactivated. However, the straps should be short enough to allow the elastic bands to stretch and support you when the exoskeleton is activated. Familiarize yourself with the support by leaning forward or reaching downwards. To find a suitable level of back support, first pull the activation loops down only two centimeters. Then gradually increase the support by pulling the loops more and more downwards until the support suits your work task. It is advised to deactivate the back support when walking around or doing work that is not straining for the back. Once you wear the lift suit, you can adjust the fit to optimize comfort. Bend forward, rotate your upper body, inhale deeply, and see if the suit is well connected to your upper body and thighs, but still comfortable to wear. Readjust the fitting, if necessary, by further tightening or loosening the straps. We also advise you to readjust the fitting again after some use to compensate for minor shifting of the exoskeleton on your body. Once you have adjusted all straps, make sure to secure all loose band ends with the loops provided. Otherwise, they could get stuck somewhere. When you start using the lift suit, your work will feel somewhat different. Therefore, we advise that you take some time to get used to it. Work with it for a maximum of one hour during the first day, and then increase the time step by step until it feels completely natural to wear it all day. When you have finished your work, the lift suit can be removed easily. Remember to deactivate the back support using the buckles at your collarbone and raising your knees. Then open the thigh cuff buckles, the hip belt buckle, and the chest buckle. When the cuffs, belt, and vest are open, you can remove the exoskeleton.
Thank you for watching the Oxivo Lift Suit video manual. For more information, please consult the user manual or reach out to us. We look forward to hearing from you.